hi welcome back to my channel my name is Ayomi J, a lover of all things fashion if you're new to this channel you are absolutely welcome on this channel I post sewing tutorials if you're a returning viewer thank you for coming back so in this tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you how to draft a basic bodice block you may ask me why well a basic bodice block is the foundation fashion design and if you want to have an in-depth understanding on how to create some manipulative styles then you should watch this video because it's going to give you sort of a foundation so that you can know how to manipulate your basic bodice pattern to create big styles like those big designers so come on this journey with me and let us learn how to do this together but before we go if you have not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscription button below and also turn on your notifications because i post videos on a regular basis so that you can become notified whenever i upload a new video now let us jump straight to the tutorial the first thing I'm going to do is to mark my front shoulder to waist measurement and, and I'm using my measurements for this tutorial. So for the front it is 16 inches. I'm just going ahead to mark 16 inches across and I'm going to be connecting it with my pattern master. Afterwards I'm going to mark my shoulder to bust measurements. And my shoulder to bust point measurement is 9 inches so I'll go ahead and mark 9 inches across just the way I did for my waist line and once I'm done marking it across I'm going to connect it with my pattern master too afterwards at the apex of my pattern paper I'm going to be placing half of my shoulder measurements my shoulder measurement is 15 half of it is 7.5 I would place that same measurement on my bust point line in order to get a straight line because I'm going to be connecting the both points together. So I'm just going ahead to use my pattern master to connect the both points together. I'm taking out the measurements just to be sure that I got it. Then I'm going to be marking 3 inches for my neck width. This is a standard. And I will be coming down by one inch from the armhole line and I would connect together. Three inches neck width and three inches neck depth is a standard for your basic bodice pattern. Thereafter, to get my chest line, I would be dividing my bust measurement by six and add 1.5. This works all the time. And I'll be taking my measurement from just below my shoulder slope. And I got seven inches. Your bust measurement divided by six and add 1.5. It works all the time. Then I'm going to be marking out my points so that you guys can understand. That is my chest line, my bust point line, and there over there is my waist line. Then I will apply my horizontal measurements, and I'm, I will be using a quarter of my measurements. A cutter of my bust measurements is 8.25 and a cutter of my waist measurements plus 1 inch that will give me 7.25. A cutter of my waist measurements is 6.25 then 1 inch that allowance making it 7.25 and I'll be connecting the both points together. Once I'm done connecting the both points together I'm going to be marking in my dad. To get my dad I'm going to get the midpoint of my waistline so i will just place my tape on my waistline and divide it into two this is a very simple and easy way to divide instead of using your calculator then i'll mark half inch on both sides giving me a total of one inch and i will come down by one inch from my bust point line and connect the points together your dad should not get to your bust point this gives room for the bust so that comes one inch below the bust point line. Thereafter, I'm going to draw my arm hole. And to draw my arm hole, I'm going to get the midpoint of my arm hole line. Place my tape just below my shoulder slope. I would get the midpoint. And from there, I will be coming in by 0.75 inch. And I'm going to be connecting the point from my shoulder slant to that point and to my bust point. So using my pattern master, this is a multi-purpose ruler, I would connect the points together to give me my arm O. 
so this is my arm all over there and i will go in to draw the neckline standard neck width like i said is three inches and standard neck depth is also three inches you can always alter this for various styles but this is a basic bodice pattern so that is what i'll be using and this is just a basic round neck so this is a basic bodice pattern and to add in your seam allowances it is also easy all you have to do is to just add one inch to the waist and one inch to the chest line and connect the points together although most basic patterns don't come with seam allowance I just thought to put this here so that you can know how to add seam allowances even to your patterns so that is my center front and this is my front pattern so include my bust that I'm going to be using the difference between my front half length and the back half length my front half length is 16 my back half length is 15 the difference is one inch so I'm going to be marking one inch just below my bust point if yours is two inches please use two inches it is always appropriate to use your accurate measurement so I'm going to be marking one inch just below my bust point measurement I would extend that that to just get the point it meets on my bust point come in by one inch from there remember I said that your dart should not get to your bust point and I'm going to connect the points together to form my dart so that is my bust dart over there I'm going to be showing us how to close these dart so that your front and your back can always meet up in terms of length but before then let us proceed to draft the basic bodice pattern for the back. For my back, I'm going to be taking in one inch zipper allowance first from the edge of my pattern paper. One inch zipper allowance is a standard. Your zipper allowance shouldn't actually be too much. So I'm marking out my zipper allowance of one inch. Thereafter, I'm going to measure out the length of my half length for the back or shoulder to waist for the back which is 15 inches once i'm done marking the points i'm going to be connecting with my pattern master then i'm going to be marking my half of my shoulder measurement if you notice i am taking that measurement just after my zipper allowance so i'm going ahead to mark out 7.5 and also marking out neck width of three inches your neck width for the front and back should be the same and from that point of my shoulder i will be coming down by one inch to create my shoulder slant just the way i did for the front and then i am connecting it in so from that point there i'm going to be marking in my chest line of seven inches remember we did the calculation bust divided by six plus 1.5 giving me seven inches and i'm marking it just below that chest just below the shoulder slope measurement and i'm connecting to get a straight line then i would also place my shoulder measurements of 7.5 inches on my chest line because i want to draw a line that is parallel parallel to my zipper allowance i want my lines to be straight you could skip this method i just like to do it this way so i'm going in to mark out my lines that is my chest line and that is the waist line thereafter i would apply my horizontal measurement the cutter of my bust measurement is 8.25 and i am taking that measurement just after the zipper allowance 8.25 and a cutter of my waist is 6.25 plus one inch for my dart allowance giving me a total of 7.25 and i'm going to be connecting those points together once i'm done connecting the points together i'm going to be drawing in my dart and the way i did for the front i'm going to get the midpoint of my waistline very easy get the midpoint of my waistline and then mark out half inch on both sides giving me a total of one inch for my dart allowance come down by one inch from the chest line for the back you come down by one inch from the from the chest line and then i'll connect the points together 
Once I'm done connecting the points together, I'm going to proceed to draw my armhole. I'm going to get the midpoint of my armhole line. And from that midpoint, I'm going to be coming in by half an inch. So once I'm done marking out that point, I'm going to draw my arm curve. So using my pattern master, I'm going in to draw in my arm or curve. And that is my arm curve for the back. Standard neck depth for the back is one inch. This is just a standard for a basic bodice block. So I'm marking in one inch right over there and I'm using the base of my pattern master to draw in my neck line. This pattern master is a multi-purpose ruler, like I said. I use it for so many things. Now, to reduce the bulge that usually appear at the back of the zip, maybe you made a blouse, there's a bulge at the back, I'm going to teach us one trick. On your waistline, mark out half an inch on your waistline then on your chest line to your neckline get the midpoint my camera got out of focus for a moment i'm sorry about that get the midpoint then connect to that half inch you took out remember i am taking all of these things from the zipper allowance so connect it to the half inch the part i am shading i am going to be taking it off entirely and i am just going in to label my zipper allowance so this is my new zipper allowance then in order for my measurement to match up i'm going to be returning that half inch i took out i'm going to be placing it back on my waistline i am doing this because i don't want to be short of measurement so i would connect that point back to my chest line so that's over there is my center back and this is my back pattern so add your zipper your seam allowances rather just mark one inch on the sides and half inch at the waistline in case you want to join it to a skirt to make a dress or you want to join it to a flounce to make a peplum top so i'm just marking it out there and then i am indicating that that is my seam allowance so i'll go ahead and cut out my patterns and show us how to close your bust that these are my patterns this is for the front and right over there is my back pattern this is my zipper allowance and i cut out that shaded part that i indicated that i was going to cut out so this is the way the back pattern should look like in order to close your bust that it is pretty easy all you have to do is to grab your dart leg along the side as it is shown and make sure it matches up with your bust line since that is where the dart is starting from grab a tape and then secure your dart so if i should match up my front and my back at the sides they are going to be of the same length this is because i had already closed my dart or my pattern so you can go ahead and use this to cut out your fabric you can close your bust dart on your pattern and then cut out your fabric this way or you can leave your dart on your pattern and transfer it to your fabric what that means is that you're going to be sewing in your bust dart on your fabric and also your waist dart but i think i like to close my bust dart on my pattern and just sew in my waist dart so guys, if you have learned something new from this video, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. And until my next video, goodbye.